Hi, my name is Phil, and this is everything I'm taking with me for two months out on the road. We are now just three days away before I'm going to be leaving on my around the country trip to see a game in every single major league ballpark. So that means today is my last chance to do a test pack to make sure everything is going to fit the way I want it on the bike for my trip. So I thought I would bring you along and show you everything that is on this bike. First, let's talk about the gear that I'm actually going to be wearing while I'm on the bike. Uh, huge shout out to Icon, who's another Portland-based company here. They sent me a bunch of riding gear for the trip, and I'm so thankful for it. It is by far the nicest riding gear I have ever owned. Uh, first up is the jacket. This is the Icon Raiden. Uh, this is a sort of like AT, ADV touring sort of jacket, and it is, it is great. So it's a Cordura fabric with some kind of like waterproof Gore-Tex-y type of liner in it. And then it has the flexible D3O armor in it. So it has the armor in the back, the shoulders and the elbows. So you have the full armor protection, but it's really flexible, really comfortable. Tons of vents, lots of pockets. Uh, next up is the riding boots. These are the Icon Stormhawks, I believe they're called. And uh, they're waterproof as well have D3O armor on the ankles. And then my favorite part of them is the BOA closure system. You just stick your foot in there, you click it, and you kind of twist it, and you're off and riding. Um, so easy to get into. They're really comfortable right out of the box. And next there's the riding jeans. These are the Icon MH1000 riding jeans. I thought about getting the Raiden uh, pants that go along with the jacket, but because I'm gonna be doing so much more hot weather riding than like cold, rainy weather riding, hopefully, uh, I decided to go with the jeans just because they breathe a little bit better and then they're sort of like a little bit more like stylish off the bike as well. Uh, these are Cordura denim with Kevlar reinforcement and then they have the D3O armor in the hips and the knees so plenty of protection um, with still like a little bit of stretch in them and the breathability of the jeans which I really like. Uh, rounding out the gear I have a Shoei GTR 2 helmet uh, along with a Cardo Pack Talk system for my comms. I'll dive into a little bit more how I set up uh, the moto vlogging setup on the helmet uh, in the camera section. Uh, then I have some Revit gloves, some earpiece earplugs, and just like a little buff that I got somewhere along the way. So this is kind of what I will be wearing with me every day out on the ride. talk about uh, all of the clothes and other personal items that I'm going to be bringing with me. Uh, first things first, let's talk about underwear and socks. That's up in the top right hand corner. Uh, I'm planning on doing laundry every five to seven days. So I've planned out about seven days of clothes here. Uh, so I've got seven pairs of everything, but I did double up on the socks. One thing that I've learned over, over the years is that having clean dry socks is like a huge luxury, especially when it's really hot or really cold. So having a pair of socks I can wear on the bike during the day and then having another pair I can switch into for going to the game or going out to dinner afterwards uh, is something that uh, I definitely wanted to plan for. It's one of those little luxuries I think is gonna make life a lot better. Uh, next I have a bunch of t-shirts and I'll be you know wearing under the jacket, my riding jacket or uh, just out on the town, it's a t-shirt. Uh, I also have a couple of like dry fit shirts for if it gets really hot out to wear underneath. And then one like long sleeve hooded sun shirt. And this is great for if it's really hot and you're gonna be out in the sun all day. Uh, it helps keep you cool, keeps the sun off of you, really helps your energy levels when it's really hot out there. Uh, obviously gotta bring some baseball caps because we're going to some games. Uh, I have a little uh, Dekine toiletry kit down there. Um, along with uh, the riding boots, I'm going to bring two other pairs of footwear, uh, just a pair of Nike uh, trainers, kind of like all-purpose shoe, and then a pair of flip-flops. Got to bring the mitt because you never know what's going to happen out there. We want to be ready uh, for a game of catch if I need it. As far as pants goes, I'm going to bring two pairs of pants and one pair of shorts. 
I think that'll be plenty to get me through. Um, and then I also have uh, a waterproof Gore-Tex rain jacket. So that's different than the rain gear I'll wear on the bike if it's raining, but if it's a little chillier, if it's gonna be raining at a game, I'll wear that rain jacket. Uh, up in the top left corner, these are sort of like situational shirts I have. Uh, one kind of fun collared shirt, so if I'm going anywhere, you know, not fancy, but need to dress up a little bit, I'll have a collared shirt. Uh, one sweatshirt, so if it gets chilly, uh, I can wear that either under my riding gear or uh, just out and about. And then I have one pair of basketball shorts, a pair of swim trunks, and one other little luxury item I'm bringing is I have some padded bike short liners. The ones I have are from Patagonia, but you can from like REI or like Perlazumi, any bike company sells these usually. And I think they're gonna help on the really long days. I'm gonna try not to wear them, but if you know the, it gets really long out there, my butt really starts to hurt, I might throw these on, just give, give myself a little extra cushion for the last couple, couple of hours. So yeah, this is all of the clothes and all of the personal items that I'm gonna be taking on the bike. Um, to pack them all into my relatively small luggage. I have some packing cubes. These have been a huge game changer for me uh, in my packing and my travel. Uh, they let you get everything kind of compartmentalized, pack down really small, and the ones I have even compress a little bit if you need them to. Uh, so that, that's gonna help organize all this. And then this is all going to, believe it or not, going to one duffel bag that's going on the back of the bike. This is a Dakine 60 liter duffel bag. And it's weatherproof, but I wouldn't call it waterproof. So I will trust this in pretty much anything other than like a torrential downpour, especially when I'm moving. But I do have a big black uh, trash bag that I carry with me. So if it starts to rain really hard, I'll stop, throw the trash bag over everything and uh, make sure it all keeps uh, pretty dry. Okay, so let's take a look at all the electronics and other miscellaneous personal items I'm gonna be bringing with me uh, on this trip. First off, let's talk about all the GoPro stuff. So that's what I'm gonna be shooting the bulk of my content on. Uh, I have a GoPro Hero 10 Black with a media mod on it. That's gonna be my main camera. I'm attaching it to a chin mount that's uh, suction or stickied to the front of my helmet. From there, I can plug in a microphone that I have wired through the helmet and so I can talk to you ongoing, and I'll be kind of the main view from the bike. Another nice thing about the media mod is that you can plug an external battery pack into it. So I have uh, that little silver brick at the bottom is an external battery pack, so I can always plug in the GoPros along the way as needed. Uh, the second camera is a Hero 9 Black with a, uh, the Max Lens mod on it. That's attached to the RAM mount, as you can see, and that'll go on the handlebars of the bike. So that'll be facing back towards me, the max lens gives it like 180 degree view, so I'll be able to see kind of whatever is uh, whatever's around me facing backwards through that view, so that'll be nice. Uh, for off the bike audio, I have a Rode Video Micro. That attaches to the, the media mod on the GoPro 10 as well, or it can attach to the nicer camera. Uh, the big sort of hard box, that's all my GoPro accessories, so I have a bunch of extra mounts. Uh, extra batteries, the battery charger, I have some filters, uh, the normal lens for the Hero 9 in case I don't want the max lens for whatever reason, just all the little accessories that you need uh, to run a few GoPros. I even have my spare Hero 8 in there in case something happens to one of these cameras. And then finally for the GoPro setup, I have a little clamp mount. This thing is so clutch, you can clamp it to whatever, like if it's a, if it's a ledge or a railing or a piece of the bike, and then it has an articulating mount that you can kind of just aim it at whatever you want. So that's going to uh, come with me. And then I have a Pelican hard case uh, for my SD cards. This is waterproof and uh, impact proof. So it's really gonna protect the cards. That's honestly the most important thing. Like if everything else got ruined, but the cards were saved, that would be okay because the, the video content is really the only thing you can't, can't replace along the way. Uh, as far as other camera gear goes, I'm shooting this on a Nikon Z6, so you can't see that, so that's not laid out here, with a 24 to 70 uh, lens on it. And that's gonna be the only like big camera and lens I'm bringing. I honestly think I could do this whole trip without bringing this big camera if all I was doing was shooting for YouTube. But I do have the opportunity to uh, shoot some stills and potentially show them 
in a show after the fact. So I wanted to bring, you know, my nicer camera with me for that kind of shooting. And then um, the other mic I have is a Saramonic lav mic. That's what I'm wearing right now. So if I am gonna do some interviews or something like that, gives you just a little bit better sound than the, than the Rode Boom mic, especially if it's windy out. As far as personal items go, I have a little travel journal. I've had this forever. I'm really bad at writing anything down. I'm trying to make notes every day on the trip just to kind of track mileage and where I started and stopped, anything that happens along the way, notes about the ballparks. That's gonna make making these videos a lot easier and also give me something to look back on later. Uh, on top of that, it's a whole mess of stickers. Icon sent me a bunch of stickers to give out and then just a few other random ones I'm gonna give out along the way as well to anyone who wants one. Uh, then I have a travel wallet. This has my passport, my vaccine card, my global entry card, uh, some spare credit cards, some cash, basically any documents like my um, bike registration and bike insurance, all that's gonna live in the travel wallet. So I have everything in one spot where I need it. Then I have my regular wallet that's just gonna live with me day to day. Um, a pair of AirPods just for walking around and making phone calls or whatever, my iPhone. Some spare keys, I have a spare key for everything on the bike. Uh, some masks, a couple pairs of sunglasses. Uh, so that's all kind of like the personal items. And then uh, we have the computer stuff. So I'm bringing my MacBook Pro and my iPad on this trip. I really didn't want to bring the iPad, but my MacBook speakers have been acting up weird and I think they're about to go. So I want to be able to like watch a movie or something late at night. Um, and have some sound come out, or if I wanna like test the sound on a video, uh, I have something to play the sound through uh, as well. Uh, charging brick so I can charge multiple things at once, even if I only have like access to an outlet or two. Uh, MacBook charger, and then that other big black case is uh, all like charging cords and things like that for charging everything. Uh, the last thing I have is uh, this big so or this soft like f-stop case uh, that has all of my camera accessories in it. So a couple filters, extra batteries, extra memory cards. It doesn't take SD cards, unfortunately. Uh, and the battery charger, all the just the little different like camera things that I might need, as well as the microphone um, to, to go with it. So yeah, all that's gonna get packed into a Dekine backpack. It has a big waterproof pocket in the back. That's where the camera, the laptop, the iPad, anything that can't get wet ever is gonna go in there. Probably all the travel documents because um, I know that's gonna be waterproof no matter what. You could like throw it in a lake and it would be fine. Uh, the rest of it is, is like the duffel weatherproof but not really ultra waterproof. So if it starts really dumping buckets, I'll throw a trash bag over it. Otherwise, I think it should be okay. And everything else can get kind of wet. And so that's gonna go in, in the front pockets of that as well. Okay, finally, we have everything that is going to be on the bike and for the bike. Uh, this is all going to fit into the GV top case I have, which is I think, 37 liters and I'm giving myself some room to spare there as well in case I ever need to carry anything extra so just some bare minimum things here I do have the luxury of being in major cities along the way so I don't need to carry a ton of parts don't need to carry you know spares of things or anything like that because I should be able to get them along the way if needed um, so first off we have uh, a cover this is a compressible cover lightweight this is basically just when I have to park the bike outside at night in a parking lot. I just want to cover it up, keep the elements off, but mostly just to keep like prying eyes and prying fingers away from the bike as much as possible. Um, along those same lines, I have a disc lock. Um, again, like nothing is foolproof. If someone wants to steal your bike, they're going to steal your bike, but just make it a little harder on them is all. Maybe make a move down the road a little bit, try and find an easier target. Um, for tools and maintenance, I have a tool roll. Um, I got sort of like this generic Stockton toolkit. Uh, and so I went through there, found the pieces that fit on the bike, took out some things. Then I added like my flat repair kit and some extra zip ties in there as well. So I should have everything I need to do to do, you know, basic roadside maintenance on the bike. I'm not a great mechanic. So if there's anything more than that, it's gonna have to be 
code anyway. So um, my theory with the tools is like, if you don't know how to use a tool, you don't need to bring it. So um, my skills luckily lead me to be able to carry just kind of a little small tool roll. Uh, same theory for first aid as well. I have in that red dry bag is a first aid kit. I just have some basic things like uh, bandages and some like blister tape, things like that. I have a, an emergency bivy just in case like there's some really gnarly weather and I can't get out of it, I need to hunker down. And a SAM splint in there as well. Um, God forbid something happens, but if you like break a wrist or something, having a splint and being able to splint it yourself helps a lot. And you can always use zip ties from your toolkit to cinch that thing down. Um, as far as airing up goes, I have this Fantic uh, rechargeable uh, air compressor. So that'll be nice to have with me. And, uh, some chain lube and the manual, of course. Uh, along with that, in the back, I have all of my rain gear. This is gonna be on the top and easily accessible. So I have pants, a jacket, gloves, and booties. So if it's raining or if it's just really cold and I want an extra, extra layer, I can throw all of this on. And that's gonna be easy access. And then finally, um, this is most of the time I think gonna live in uh, the top case and not in the backpack, but that's my little travel tripod. So I'll have a way to uh, set up a camera along the way. So yeah, pretty simple. Uh, the top case is only, like I said, like 37 liters, so there's not a lot of space in there. So I pared this down a little bit, but this is uh, all the basics I think I'm gonna need to just get on down the road. So all of that gets strapped to the bike with a couple of rock straps. That's where that GoPro is. That's where my phone mounts with a quad lock set up. You can see the final couple of mods I made. That's the fork tunnel block there. Keep the air from coming up the fork tunnels. And then I added just those little winglets to help push the, the air out just a little bit further. So this is the setup and how I am going to be riding down the road for two months. All right, so that is every single thing I am packing and taking with me on my two month trip around the country. I'm sure I'll tinker with it in the next couple of days before I get out on the road, but this is basically it for me. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. If you want to follow along with me as I go on my journey to see a game in every major league ballpark, hit that subscribe button. Starting next week, we'll have actual episodes. I'll be in my first ballpark. I can't wait and I hope you come along with me. We'll see you out on the road.